Okay, <laughs> I'm going to show you the aftermath of this tractor, and it is not completed just yet, but that is a disaster of, you know, biblical proportions. There's a lot of oil on the ground. There's a lot of tools strewn all over the place. There's even some extra parts, but not really. Uh, replaced parts, there's broken pieces and stuff. And the reason I can't complete the tractor at this time is because I broke the clutch cable. Yep, broke the clutch cable, which is really no big deal. Um, got another issue that I have to deal with, but uh, issue of the front end is uh, the bushing is shot. And when that bushing got shot, it actually really screwed up the, the, the front end. So we're going to have a little issue with that. Uh, not really that big of a deal. Probably just going to have to go buy that center piece for this front axle. Or if I can find a good front axle someplace, I could put that in. Um, the other thing is, what else is the problem? Oh, yeah, big thing. I actually had to tear this tractor apart three times. Yes, three times, okay? First time was for the initial problem. The second time, in my distracted state of repair, you know, my dad was there and there was, uh, I believe, a phone call. And anyways, you saw in the video that I had put a plate on top of a plate with no disc in between it. Okay, so that was yesterday's fiasco. I'm like, okay, why won't this machine work? Um, the fact of the matter is it probably would have worked just like that for a while until metal shavings had, you know, made a whole big mess. Um, but we're not even going to worry about that because guess what? I put the new plate in yesterday, put the tractor all back together last night, started, finished it up this morning, started it up, and I still had the same problem. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Timothy was pissed. <laughs> you know, so what did I do wrong? Well, I didn't film what I did wrong, and I probably should have done wrong, uh, filmed what I did wrong. But in the initial problem power shift pack, the one that had all the broken discs and everything, there are two holes that go through the top plate, the spring-loaded plate. They go through. Uh, they're square cut. They are not directly across from one another. Well, I put it back together, and absent-mindedly, I didn't even look torque the thing down, put it all back together again, and what had happened is there's two aluminum feet that that, that uh, clutch plate goes in and out of, and that keeps it from turning uh, on the, well, does it keep it from turning? Yeah, it keeps it from turning, kind of, yes and no, it's like a 50-50 thing. Um, it does keep it from turning, but it allows the plate to go in and out. Well, what had happened is, I was a tooth off, or you know, because there's four ears. Well, I was one ear off, and uh, it just compressed the clutch pack, pinching the discs. As one YouTuber had said, if you did the pin if you pinch the discs, you would send the machine through the wall, which is exactly what happened. And for the life of me, I went through that whole entire transmission today, from soup to nuts, tore it completely apart, until finally I realized what had happened. So I, me, Carl, and Tim put the thing back together again and yes yes ladies and gentlemen it is now here so it does it does move forward and back but the problem is I broke the clutch cable which is not going to allow me to put the hoses back where they belong back for the the yeah for the front end loader and the uh, what was the other thing I was going to do so I have to end I was going to put new clutch or loader cables on. I have them over on the other side. Uh, I'm going to put new loader cables on so the thing works smoothly and, you know, like it's supposed to work. Uh, you know, they're in that box right there. And on the other side, the little box, that's the, uh, fl the new filter for the, for the transmission, which uh, we're going to run this thing for a couple of days on the, on the oil that I put in there. It was fresh and clean, but now it's it's cleaning the system out because it runs through two filters, a transmission filter and the uh, the uh, hydraulic oil filter. So it's going to filter all that crap out of there, but it's got to flush it through the system. Uh, hopefully it catches it all. It's probably going to take a couple of a couple of filters to catch it all. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow, tomorrow, because I'm about done today, I'm really spent. My leg is killing me. Those of you who see my Instagram, One Lonely Farmer on Instagram, you saw that I had cut my leg. Uh, on the sawmill, which it wasn't by the blade, but it was, uh, I stepped up on it and slipped and skinned 
my shin's really bad. Well, the thing is blue, and it's really bad looking. I should probably snap another Instagram photograph of it and show it. Um, but because I have to work, I can't get off of it. But I've been putting it up at night, so. But anyways, enough of that. Uh, this tractor will be completed tomorrow because tomorrow morning i got to run to deer country to get the clutch cable that is I ordered tonight, and it should be at the store tomorrow morning by 7 o'clock. So I'm going to say this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will show you the rest of the repairs tomorrow because the last two days I haven't really filmed anything. But I will. you will have seen what happened. But anyways, thanks again.